So, here we are again. It's about 1.30 in the morning, 1.35 on Tuesday, March 16th, 2010. Hell, I probably got the date wrong, but I don't care. I'm sleepy. But I wanted to do a supplemental on Kevin's PC build. Uh, yes, I still have Kevin's PC. It's sitting right here. I'm still in the uh, kind of in the process of putting games and stuff like that on it and testing it out, make sure it's completely stable and 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 all that good stuff. Um, well, it turns out Kevin watched my videos, which I knew he would. Uh, I'm, I'm happy that he did, and uh, he took the hint on the the uh, front door the little recessed panel in the door needing the fans to help keep it cool, help pull air in. And so he sent Rory off to, uh, my uncle Rory off to get some 92 millimeter fans today. So, uh, he swung by on his motorcycle. Damn, that thing's loud. And I dropped these puppies off. And these are your basic cheapy, uh, Link Depot Japanese fans, uh, good fans, cost about seven bucks at Fry's. You can buy them online for a, a couple of dollars cheaper, but by the time you pay for shipping, you're paying the same amount. So, uh, my only issue with these fans is that they have a little three pin, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but they have a little three pin, uh, uh, motherboard connectors. Now, I'm not sure if there's enough headers on the motherboard and I'm not sure if these cables are long enough to go to the motherboard. But it's no big deal because I've got adapters out the wazoo in there in a big drawer in my closet and I have a feeling that I have an extra adapter that's just perfect for two of these fans. It's actually meant for doing just the thing that I want to do so uh, won't be any problem there. And there will be lots of extra airflow in this case. And, you know, the case is still designed to keep noise down to a minimum, so shouldn't be a lot of, shouldn't be any whining or anything like that. Uh, if anything, there'll be a little bit of an increase in the white noise generated by the fans, but I don't think it'll be noticeable uh, to Kevin at all. And, and I've certainly never had any problem with noise. Uh, having the two hundred and twenty or hundred millimeter fans that I have in my old solo case, which is the exact same as this one. So anyway, thought I'd show you guys. So the the fans are actually the brand name is Link Depot, and I forget who makes who really makes the the fans. I think it's. Uh, Sanyo Dinky or something like that. Uh, you know, they're your basic 92 millimeter fans, 42 and a half cubic feet a minute, 2,500 RPM. So they're about the middle of the range. Uh, 92 millimeter fans tend to go from about uh, 1,000 RPM for the real quiet ones to 4,000 RPMs for the real screamers. These are about 25 RPM, so they give a good balance between airflow and uh, you know silence so okay, again they're rated at 28.8 dBA so 28.8 uh, decibels uh, uh, oh goodness they draw two and a half about, about two and a half watts which is nothing nothing and that's two and a half watch, watts at a at spin up. Actually, once they've spun up, they only draw about uh, you know, maybe a watt point. I think it's point nine watts, so just under a watt. While they're once they've spun up and are are spinning it at their uh, 2,500 RPM speed, so be a good deal. I'll put those in tomorrow. 
Still got a few more games I want to install on it for him. I want him to be impressed, so I want lots of eye candy, and I want him to have lots of options. Uh, from what I understand, aside from a few uh, uh, jaunts in in the old Battlefield 1942, uh, Kevin hasn't really done a lot of PC gaming. Uh, so I want him to be impressed, and I want him, I want it really to be something he can pick up and and play. Um, without too much difficulty. Uh, what I'd like to do is put Portal on there. Portal is, well most of you guys, most of you geeky guys know what Portal is, but I'll explain it anyway. Portal is a software titled by Valve Software, same people who make Half-Life and Half-Life 2. It was released with the orange box which had Half-Life 2 and, and its sequels, uh, its subsequent episodes. Anyway, Portal was kind of a bonus game that they threw in. in um, that's just kind of, you know, they didn't think it was really going to take off. And it's become an internet phenomenon. And it's a 3D first person uh, game, but it's not really a shooter. And it's more of a 3D first person puzzle game. The whole entire game is nothing but, uh, well, it starts off as nothing but puzzles, and, and as you go further into the game, it's you you tend you get a, a more of a sense of the storyline and that there's hidden agenda behind everything and and it's really good and it's one of those games that I think just about anybody can pick up and play really easily so I'm definitely going to try and get that on there for Kevin uh, I think he'll enjoy it uh, if he gives it a chance anyway then you know people who aren't used to first person shooters uh, or first person 3D games can sometimes be a little put off at first uh, but Portal's something unique and something special and it's pretty damn cool it's like being in a sci-fi movie but that, then again so is Half-Life 2 and Half-Life so anyway I'm running out of time I know I am let's see what the camera says yeah I'm right at about 7 minutes I'm going to call it quits it's 1 1.45 uh, in the morning, again, February or March 16th, 2010. I got a big day ahead of me tomorrow. I'm not looking forward to working on that damn roof. Oh. So, I'm working on it, Kevin. Hadn't, hadn't given up on it. I uh, uh, haven't forgot about you. Just want to make sure everything's right and make sure you're impressed. Uh, as I say to everybody, all you guys here watching, peace, thumbs up, and God bless. Y'all take care.